So the nature conservancy comes to us and say, we have these people in the Yalbak area who together have 266,000 acres that they're willing to sell us for $72 million. We will raise that money to buy it from them and then we would form an NGO to run the conservation of it for the benefit of the government and people of Belize. You know, I was going to part this series for last, but I think I should say this now. Senator Courtney made great strides to mention that the Nature Conservancy, Conservancy's attorneys, the Baron Williams at the time, what he failed to mention, what he failed to mention, and which is true, is that his law firm, Courtney, Cowick and Company, is the law firm representing the major landowners in the Yalba area who are selling the land to the Nature Conservancy. So he didn't reveal that, but the public should know that. So when he calls this a nefarious deal, is is he saying that he's a part of this nefarious activity, supposedly? I mean, he big in at this. When the Nature Conservancy approached us, we said, fine, no problem. We will consider it, a cabinet paper was done. And when that cabinet paper was done, cabinet considered it and approved it in principle and indicated to the Minister of Finance and to the Minister of Environment and the Minister of Natural Resources that we should go ahead and procure the execution of this arrangement. It could not and was not brought to the National Assembly because it had already been dissolved. Now Senator Courtney knows that the only time you bring land matters or the transfer of land matters to the National Assembly is when you're dealing with government land. So if you're transferring or dissolving or, or giving to the public 500 acres of government land, for example, you need National Assembly approval. But no National Assembly approval was needed for this transfer because this is private land. You have the Nature Conservancy paying for the land from private owners to be transferred to an NGO. There was no need for any of that to go to the National Assembly. So for him to indicate that somehow that was done in violation of the law by not taking it to the National Assembly, that is disingenuous at the least.